Hey guys, so today we're making some beef short ribs. Please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Let's get started with the recipe. So I got these short ribs from Walmart. And yes, they have quite a bit of fat on them. So I probably should have gone to a different store. But we're going to make do with what we have. This is about three pounds of beef short ribs. And so I am just keeping it simple and seasoning it with some salt and pepper. If you like these electric uh, salt and pepper grinders, be sure to check out the links in the description box below. Um, but I didn't put a whole lot of different seasonings on it because we are going to sear these short ribs before we put them in the instant pot and so I didn't want it to um, smoke too much and so that's why I only put salt and pepper on there but make sure you season your food y'all because we don't want no bland food okay and so again I am going to make these in my pressure cooker so I'm just putting in some avocado oil and I'm going to sear them on each side and I'm doing it in two batches because I have way too many to be putting me in all at the same time. And so if you are going to be making these in the oven, I do suggest you sear them on the stove first. Um, if you have a Dutch oven, that's even better. Um, so sear them in your Dutch oven and then, you know, you add all your other ingredients and just toss it in the oven. And so I chose to use the Instant Pot because it's going to cook this a lot faster so if you were to cook this in the oven you'll be cooking it for about two to three hours in the oven and so in the pressure cooker this is only going to cook for about 45 minutes so you're cutting that time significantly okay and if you're in the time crunch this instant pot pressure cooker whatever you want to call it is going to be your best friend okay and so just make sure you sear uh all sides and so this did take quite a bit uh it took a while because there's so much fat on it but um after you sear your beef you are going to saute your vegetables and so i'm just using uh i use two yellow onions about three to four carrots and i want to say two or three ribs of celery and so you're going to saute that and then after you saute it for a little bit you're going to add in about six cloves of garlic and so I did forget the tomato paste, okay? And so that is a pretty significant ingredient to forget. I don't know how I forgot that, but I was cooking late at night. But make sure you put some tomato paste in there and I'll be sure to link the ingredients in the description box below. And so I added in one cup of Pinot Noir uh, wine and then I added in about maybe a tablespoon of some beef bouillon. And then I'm adding in four cups of beef broth. And so I probably didn't need to add in so much uh, broth. I thought that I did. Um, but it ended up, like the meat ended up making more liquid. So it was quite a bit of liquid. But it still turned out really well. And so I'm just adding in this all-purpose seasoning by Kinder's. But again, you want to make sure you season every layer of your food. Because we don't want no bland food, y'all. Okay? Next, I'm going to add in some fresh herbs. So we have two bay leaves, a sprig of rosemary, and then a few sprigs of fresh thyme. And then I'm going to stir all of that. And then now you're going to add your beef back to the pressure cooker. And so um, I'm going to set it to the meat setting. And then I'm going to keep pushing it until it goes all the way over to well. And then I'm going to adjust my time to 45 minutes. And you want to do a natural release once your 45 minutes are up. And so this is what it looks like when you open it up. These are going to be falling off the bone. I promise you, these are going to be super tender, super yummy, super flavorful. I wish, again, that I had gotten um, some from a different store so I wouldn't have all that fat. All that fat. But look, fork tender like the bones are legit falling out of this thing okay and so i'm just gonna take all of the short ribs out because i want to thicken up my liquid and i'm um, just going to um strain those vegetables and things out of there so that we can thicken the liquid with the cornstarch slurry to make a cute little gravy and that's it y'all this was like super simple super quick again this is a nice alternative to making it in the oven if you are short on time. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to serve this with some mashed potatoes and some sauteed green beans. 
and honey listen when i tell you this was delectable i promise you this is going to be delicious you can serve this uh for your holiday meal if you want to um shoot i made this on a weeknight so you can make it on a weeknight if you want to because it only took 45 minutes but i hope you guys enjoyed this recipe please make sure you like share comment and subscribe i truly appreciate the support bye